And how has the e-webinar impacted your customers and your business? That's a great question. I think it's it's opened up the way that we've thought about scaling. I think one of the things that I have learned about customers, not only being on the CS side, but since I've started looking and working with products like eWebinar, is that not everybody wants the same thing, right? I think mm-hmm. we have this assumption, at least I did, that the more personal, the better. If I can get on the phone and talk to somebody, that's always better for everybody. And I realized that's not true. Right? So for our sales team to be able to look at the ability and go, not everybody wants to be on a live demo. How do we serve that person where they're at? Yeah, That's how I think you'd be as human-centered as possible, is considering the other person in this. So eWebinar has given us the ability to do that and explore those opportunities and go, how do we still create a personal experience, but in a way that's, that's happy for you and is beneficial for you, rather yeah. than forcing you to do it our way? The flexibility that it's provided us has been immense yeah not to mention there's nothing more disheartening than the person doing the demo for someone who doesn't want it like Mm -hmm. in that particular way and i have been that person many times in my previous company which is why e-webinar exists but i think you're right like the future of content maybe the future of content is now but it's completely consumer driven i want it when i want it think about like i like to call this kind of the netflix impact of b2b growth Back then, like 20 years ago, we had to watch Friends at a certain time because we didn't know when the replay was going to be. And we Mm -hmm. wanted to talk about it with our friends the next day, right? But the DVR came out and, you know, it was game changing. We could record it and watch it at our own time. And then Netflix came out and it completely shifted the way we want to consume content. It's all about me and when I want to watch it, when it's convenient for me. But I still want the opportunity to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. and you have to be there. And especially I think right now, like not every company gets that, but the ones who do are really going to impress their customers and be able to activate them as soon as, you know, as soon as possible. And I think the really smart companies stop and analyze when is that appropriate to kind of be flexible with the client and when is it not beneficial, right? There are times Mm -hmm. when we have to look at our clients and go, We've been doing this for a long time. We really do know the right path and the right way to do some of these things. Mm -hmm. We need you to trust us on that, right? But there's other times where it goes, no, like if you want to watch this when you want to watch it, you can still get all of the information you need. Mm -hmm. And then it's, you are happier going through that process. So it's it's a lot to analyze for sure. And I'm not going to sit here and say, I've figured it all out and know all the answers. But the flexibility that that products like eWebinar have given us to make those decisions, I think has has been a a really nice freedom to have. 